Welcome to Minnesota Sports HQ. I'm Ben, and I uh, hope you guys are all doing well. We had a very busy day in Minnesota sports. We had the Twins taking on the Orioles. We had the Minnesota Wild taking on the Colorado Avalanche. And the Minnesota Timberwolves taking on the Washington Wizards. So uh, let's get straight into it. Going to start off with the Orioles versus Twins game. Now, uh, this is the first time that the Twins have seen Lance Lynn since... Uh, we acquired him from St. Louis, um, not a trade, but free agency, and uh, he looked good. Uh, he had a no-hitter through three innings, and then they took him out, so a solid outing for Lance Lynn today. And uh, starting things off, Minnesota scored four runs in that third inning. Baltimore got one back in the fourth and then tied it up in the fifth. Minnesota took the lead again in the fifth, and then a two-run homer in the seventh gave Baltimore the lead, and another in the eighth solidified a 7-5 win for the Orioles. Now, both teams had nine hits. Um, you know, most of the starters started for both teams. Uh, Dozier had a walk in three at-bats. Eduardo Escobar did not have a hit in two at-bats. Joe Maurer went two for three, scoring a run. Adrianza went 0 for two. Sano went... Uh, one for two plus a walk, which is good from him. Uh, Logan Morrison, uh, I haven't seen him play in a while, but he he went one for two with two walks, so um, pretty good from him. Uh, Jorge Polanco had a hit, an RBI, and a run, and a walk in two at-bats, so nice stats from him. Jason Castro went 0 for three, which uh, very unusual from him. And, uh, you know, the eight and nine guys were... Or the seven, eight, and nine guys were triple A guys, excuse me. So, you know, they do matter, but um, I I'm not going to spend much time on them in this video. So, um, Taylor Rogers gets a loss for the Twins, but I mean, it's preseason, it's not the biggest issue. Um, all I really cared about is that Lance Lynn did extremely well in his three innings. So, uh, really good four man rotation we have going into the season. Let's switch gears to the ice. Now, and uh, the Minnesota Wild took on the Colorado Avalanche. Now, uh, you know, KG Affair, Colorado's currently sitting in the top wild position, or top wild card position, excuse me. And, uh, you know, only a few points behind the wild at this point. So this was a very good game. And uh, Colorado stuck, struck first with three minutes left in the first period. JT Comfer, 12th of the year. And then uh, Miku Koivu tied it up with six minutes left in the second. But then they took the lead again about 45 seconds later. Nikita Zadarev scored. And uh, yeah, after that, you know, McKinnon scored right away in the third period, 11 seconds in. And then after that, you know, Comfer scored again. And then... Uh, Joss Tyson pretty much put the game to bed with a few minutes left, made the score 5-1. to one. Um, But this was a com pretty competitive game, despite, you know, the score looking like that. Um, the Wild had 34 shots, and the Avalanche had 22. And uh, the Wild went 0-4 for 4 on the power play, and the Avalanche went 2-3 for 3 on their power play. So, you know, those uh, special team goals were really what killed the Wild today. But a uh, little look at how that affects the standings. I mean, Minnesota's still in that third wild card spot, but Colorado moves within uh, three points with a game in hand for that third divisional spot. And Dallas right below us, uh, same amount of games played, but three points behind as well. And uh, as far as missing the playoffs, uh, we're five points ahead right now. Um, two teams on 80 points, Anaheim and Calgary. So, uh... This could get interesting, and of course, St. Louis has a few games in hand on the rest of the teams, could pop up in that wildcard spot. Now, uh, the Wild just need 
a few more wins. I mean, there's 12 games, 11, 12 games left in the season for these teams. Um, I kind of want the second wild card position so we can play Vegas because, you know, we haven't lost to Vegas. So, you know, that'd just be an interesting series. I mean, we're not going to win the Stanley Cup. I'd like to see us, you know, just eliminate Vegas' chances. That'd be cool. And now to the court, we had the Timberwolves playing the Washington Wizards. And uh, very critical game, you know, both teams in playoff spots right now. Uh, continuing to be without, um, I think John Wall's hurt? L let me check. I thought John Wall was hurt, though. Yeah, John Wall's hurt right now, so... Uh, Markeith Morris had to step up with 29 points. Bradley Beal had 19. Whoever Thomas Sadoransky is had 15 in place of uh, John Wall. And, uh, you know, Marcin Gortat had six. Otto Porto Jr. had eight. But the bench for Washington looked pretty good, totaling 36 points. Uh, Minnesota, <laughs> ridiculous game. Bielitsa had 17 points eight rebounds. Taj Gibson had 10 points and eight rebounds in 27 minutes. Andrew Wiggins had 16 points. Jeff Teague had 13 points. Jamal Crawford had 11 off the bench with uh, Tyus having eight and Gorgie having four. And uh, Derek Rose played 10 minutes and went uh, 0 for 2 from the field. So not great from him, but, uh, you know, still some hope there. And of course, the big man, Carl Anthony Towns, has been stepping it up huge. He carried us against the Warriors. He carried us today as well. 40 minutes played, 37 points, 10 rebounds, only had three assists. But, you know, that's what not what he's known for. He's more of a guaranteed double-double, basically. And uh, we really needed this win as, I mean, we're still without Jimmy Butler. I mean, word on him is that you know, we're getting him in the playoffs. But uh, we got to make the playoffs first. Um, this win moves us to sixth place, tied for fifth, um, half a game behind fourth, one and a half games above seventh, and also one and a half games above eighth and ninth, and then two games above tenth place. That is ridiculous. Uh, not too many games left for us. Eleven or twelve games, just like uh, the Wilds. So. Both seasons kind of coming to an end. Uh, both Minnesota teams, you know, just kind of barely hanging on to their to their spots, honestly, right now. Um, other big news, obviously, Vikings stuff. I mean, dang. I'm pretty sure we got Kirk Cousins uh, for a three-year, $84 million deal. Um, I'm sure I'll have an off-season review. But, uh, you know, we're losing our three other quarterbacks, Bridgewater to the Jets. Just really unfortunate. I really like Bridgewater. Um, and then also Bradford to the Cardinals and Keenum to the Broncos. That's what we're hearing right now. I'll let you guys know if that changes. But uh, that's what we got so far. I mean, just... Um, and for nostalgia's sake, I'm going to have a 2017-2018 Viking season in review tomorrow. Uh, I've been working really hard for three days editing that. Um, so I hope you guys stay tuned for that, and, uh, you know, if you're a Minnesota fan, and, uh, you feel like helping out a brother, well, me, and, uh, my dude Jordan, uh, would be really kind of you to hit the subscribe button, and like our videos, and, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody.